Welcome to Clastro Node Community, a general purpose network analysis tool for both social interaction and industrial system data. In this example, we're working with a premium plan, which allows up to 200,000 rows per project. You can upload any user-defined interaction data set, as long as it includes a few required columns. You'll find those in the manual. One important note, even though we're analyzing graph data, you don't need to convert your database from SQL to NoSQL. As long as you can extract a log of who did what to whom, you're good to go. Once you have that, all users and interactions are internally mapped to unique integer IDs, making the graph fully anonymized. Here, we're just sampling 200,000 rows, converting them to a new file, and that's all you need to get started with Premium. Now let's move on to the actual analysis. Clastro Node Community is delivered as a containerized system meaning you can deploy it on your own cloud infrastructure or on-premise servers, as long as a GPU-enabled environment is available. For performance reasons, the payload is designed to work with volume-mounted input files, and it accepts data in Parquet format. As you can see here, the payload includes various parameters, and just like the manual explains, you're expected to define weights for each type of interaction. These weights reflect your own interpretation of what's important. For example, whether you think likes matter more than shares or DMs, it gives you full control over how behavioral signals are reflected in the final network. Finally, the delta time parameter is key. In the premium plan, it's fixed to a negative value, which emphasizes short-term, high-frequency clustering. But in the enterprise plan, it can be either negative or positive, allowing the system to behave as a fully general-purpose network analysis tool or even perform AML-grade pattern analysis, similar to our dedicated product, Clastro Node Vertex, if that's what your use case requires. Before we move on, it's worth noting that all of these analysis results are automatically saved as both CSV and structured data file inside the volume-mounted output directory. So there's no need to make an additional request Everything from cluster assignments to network indicators and interaction flow data is already there. This makes it easy to integrate Cluster Node into your own systems, whether it's a downstream dashboard, a reporting pipeline, or a local audit workflow. Now that the job is complete, let's explore the results on the dashboard. This is where the real insight begins. On the dashboard, you can now interactively explore the results and what's really powerful here is that you control the analysis focus. Simply choose any interaction column from your dataset, whether it's likes, comments, follows, or anything you define. And the Sankey diagram updates accordingly. What you'll see is the interaction flow converging around high-impact users, the nodes that consistently attract or initiate interactions. This dynamic structure lets you immediately understand which elements play a central role in your network based on the behavior type that matters most to you. Now we're looking at an industrial fault data set. And just like before, you're free to define any columns that matter to you. The key difference here is that the SRC and DST values aren't users anymore. They represent the cause of a fault and the component that was damaged as a result. So essentially, each row captures a failure event, with SRC source mapped from the fault cause and DST destination from the damaged component. These are automatically converted into unique integer IDs and used to build a failure propagation network. In terms of features, you're free to include anything you want, repair costs, downtime, severity level, technician count, or any other metric relevant to your system. Just make sure the values are numeric, and Cluster Node will take care of the rest. Even if the values have different scales, that's not a problem. All features are automatically normalized internally, so there's no need to scale your data manually before uploading it. Just like in the social example, the delta time parameter appears again here. And since this is a premium plan demo, it's set to a negative value. That means the system will prioritize frequent and time-sensitive failure patterns when building the graph. And again, we use custom weights to tell the system what matters most to us. For example, 
If you think the number of technicians or the repair cost is more important than severity, you can assign a higher weight accordingly. These weights are user-defined float values, and they must be greater than or equal to zero. While they can exceed one, most use cases work well with values between zero and one. The system uses these weights to calculate edge strength, so your network clustering and influence scores are directly shaped by the behavior you choose to emphasize. Just like before, there's no need to send a separate request to download the results. All output files, including CSV summaries and structured data files in structured data format, are automatically saved to the volume-mounted output directory. This ensures that the results can be directly integrated into your existing reporting systems, maintenance dashboards, or internal log pipelines without any extra steps. This dashboard shows you how risk clusters emerge across your system based on whichever interaction column you choose to analyze, whether it's the number of technicians, severity level, downtime, or replacement cost. Each selection dynamically updates the Sankey diagram, allowing you to observe how failure patterns group together around certain components or fault origins. In every view, you'll find a global leader, the most influential node driving failures across the entire network. You may also notice secondary hubs, subleaders, that dominate their local clusters. These nodes represent your highest risk points and should be prioritized for inspection or preventive maintenance. Because if left unresolved, they can trigger chain reaction failures, affecting multiple connected components downstream. This level of insight helps you make smarter decisions about which parts to service first, based on how failures actually propagate in your environment. That's how Clastro Node Community helps you uncover hidden patterns, prioritize high-risk nodes, and take action before failure spreads. The data is yours. The control is yours. Now, let the network speak.